Hi everyone, here we go with a quick intermediate workout. We're starting out standing up, pull your body up nice and tall, your spine lifted, cross your arms and sit down with control. And roll yourself all the way down to prepare for the hundred, arms up. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, squeeze your heels together, lift your head and shoulders and pump. Inhale big, and exhale. 10 and in. Now if this is too much for your back, you can rest your legs on the floor and can continue this way. Or you can take your legs into your chest and reach them up to the ceiling and keep pumping that way. The right position is the position that feels right for your back. So your back is heavy on the mat and your stomach is scooped in deeply. 60 in. You can lower your legs for more challenge. 70 in and out, 80 in and out, 90 in and exhale all the air. Bring your knees in and then stretch them out on the floor and flex your feet strongly, lift your arms up. Take an inhale and as you exhale, reach your arms towards your toes, curl up slow and reach forward and roll back down, vertebra by vertebra, be strong, and reach your arms back without popping your ribs out, keep them pulled in. Lift up, and exhale over, and round back, and curl down. We're only gonna do one more of these, make it work. Lift up, and exhale over, go back, and roll all the way down and bring your arms by your side. Take your right leg up, holding that right leg up, lift your arms, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, grab your leg and climb up it like a tree. Bring your forehead close to your knee if you can, then lift your body up as tall as you can, flex your foot, point your foot, and I'm gonna give you a challenge, optional, let go and roll down. And reach your arms back without popping ribs out and roll up and grab your leg at the end, forehead in your knee, lift up tall, and then climb down or let go and roll all the way down. Leave your leg up, put your arms down, and we're circling to the left. So it goes across your body around, up, circle around and up, one more, reverse. Down across and up, circle around and up, circle around and good. We switch legs. Now the left leg is up ready for tree. Reach up, grab it, climb up it, and stay here, forehead in your knee. Sit up really tall, good, and then let go maybe, and roll back down. You can always climb down, and roll up again. No hands if you can. Catch your ankle, and lift up tall. Flex your foot, point your foot, and head towards your knee. See if you can let go, and roll down. And leg circles with the left leg. It goes circling to the right, around and up. Circle around and up. Circle around and up. Reverse. And up. And up. Last one. And fold it in. Preparing for rolling like a ball. Hug your feet to your bottom. Lift your head and rock yourself up. Keep your heels on your bottom. Roll back and roll up. Five times. Two more, and one more time, and going right into stomach series, pull your right leg with you and lay down, Sh shoulders just touch the mat, hug, hug, switch, hug, hug, pull, 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 keep that going nice and tight into your chest, pull, 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 one more, pull, pull, and then everything hugs in for double leg stretch, really squish all your air out, inhale, reach the arms and legs long. Sweep them around and hug them in. Squeeze together and stretch longer, reach. Hug it back in. Stretch long, reach. Hug it back in. One more. Oh, I think that was only four. Let's do an extra. Stretch out and hug it in. Take one leg up for single straight leg stretch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, 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 pull. Sometimes I call this scissors kind of its nickname. Pull, 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 one more. Both legs go up. Double straight leg stretch, lower your legs a little bit and lift them up. The key to this one is to only lower your legs as far as you can keep your stomach pulled in. 
and lift up and lower and lift up and lower and lift up and now twist for crisscross hold it there hold it hold it and switch hold 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 two more a little faster reach and reach and reach and done oh sitting up take your arms and legs straight up to the sky Let's see if you can sit up that way flex your feet arms drop take a big inhale and squeeze your bum so you sit taller exhale flex further and reach 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 inhale curl back up and then from right here bring your feet together hold on to your ankles and lift your left leg up bring it back down lift your right leg up and bring it back down you should be sitting back on your tailbone so behind your sit bones not trying to sit up too high on your hips right and down and then both legs go up and hold them there look at your belly and pull it in to rock back loosen your grip if you need and come back up and do it again loosen your grip and on the next three if you can keep your hands tight on your ankles and lift up loosening the grip is helpful as you're learning because it helps you understand the balance but once you've got that you want to hold your ankles hug your legs together for corkscrew let go and roll down bring your arms by your sides lift your hips a little bit come down and make a circle to the right with control glued together lift up a little come down circle left again lift up and come down circle right and lift up come down circle left all right sitting up all the way separate your legs in a v lift up as tall as you can take a big inhale lift twist to the right and with your left hand reach for your little toe stay there now exhale go further 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 when you come up make yourself as tall as you can twisted and then go all the way over to the other side hold it nice and tall reach for your little toe further 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 inhale come all the way up as tall as you can be arms down now we're flipping over onto your stomach do it quick and lay down preparing for the swan dive take a big inhale and lift your chest up we're going to go for three times nice big swan with your arms helping down up last one and then sit back into your hips stretch and lengthen back out prop yourself up for single leg kicks press into the mat roll your shoulders back look out in front of you lift your stomach kick your bottom and do a point flex each time we'll do three of these first is a point then a flex try not to wobble anything else in your body just your leg is moving that's it come down and turn your head to the side take your hands behind you and grab one with the other bring it way up melt your elbows squeeze your legs off the mat and then kick three times three two one inhale reach back other side three two one inhale reach back stretch all the way long and exhale sit back give your back a stretch and we're going to turn over and bring in the legs uh, feet on the mat close to your bottom separate them about hip distance for shoulder bridge curl your tail up and one vertebra at a time come up until you're balanced on your shoulders there and tuck your arms underneath a little if you need hold that position bottom tight keep that strong so you're stretching the hip and slide your right leg out kick it up flex it down kick it up flex two kick it up and flex down three slide it underneath left leg slide it out kick it up flex one up flex two up flex three slide it underneath hold it roll yourself down chest middle lower back and hips hug your knees in all right and then we're going to get a little unconventional here this is called the table make your fingers point towards your toes separate your feet about hip distance again and lift yourself up similar to shoulder bridge this is an exercise normally done on the wunda chair hold it here and i want you to squeeze your bottom it's as if your body is a table press your bottom up towards the sky for five four three 
two, one, just to make you aware of the muscles that are holding you up right there, <laughs> and sit down. Good. All right, now separate your legs about. Mat distance apart. One hand in front, one hand by your hip. Press into the mat and try to lift your bottom off and lower it down. We'll do it again. Lift up and lower it down. One more try. Lift up. If nothing comes off the mat, that's okay. Just try. <laughs> and we'll switch hands so the other one's in front. If you need to, make a fist for your wrist. Lift up and lower. Lift up and lower. This is all powerhouse. Lift up and lower. Whew. All right, so coming down onto your side for some side kicks, bring your feet to the front so that your body and from your elbow to your hip is lined up and prop your head up with a hand and then reach your legs really long. We're gonna need the hot potato. Your bottom leg is as if it's standing on the floor, so make that leg strong. Pull your waist up tall, press into the mat, and then see if you can lift your bottom leg off the floor just a little bit. Wrap the top leg, butt strong. And we're gonna to tap to the back, to the front. Try not to move your bottom leg at all. Front, back, front. Right away, you should start feeling it right here in your bum. And if you don't, do it with more control. Good, keep going. And down, and front, and back, and front. Reach your legs super long, like you're trying to be a ballerina and make your legs even longer. One more. All right, nice, put both legs down. Top leg makes a circle, so it goes up and around, and home, and up and around, just as big a circle as you can manage with control. And two more. You're really wringing that out now. Oh, and then go the other way. I really love the side kicks. You don't need too many of them. There's lots of variations and you should probably only do like two of those variations per class. But they're really good for balancing the hips. We're gonna switch sides. So on this side, your feet are in the front, you're a long straight line, hand in front of hip, pull up, flex your bottom foot so it's standing, lift your top leg, now lift the bottom leg an inch and tap front and back, right here in your bum, front and back, three and back, four, back, five, think of being in glue, so your leg is actually working against the air, back and front. Strong and front, back and front. And if you're getting a foot cramp, try to take that <laughs> tension and put it more in your middle. Two more, back and front last time, back and front. All right, legs together for circles, around and stop, around and stop, three and stop, four and stop, five, reverse, Round, that's one, two, home, three, home, four, get taller, home, one more. Oh, mercy. All right, bring your legs to the front, lay on your back, and prepare for the teaser. Knees into the chest, stomach down as the legs stretch out. Lift your arms and roll up, try to reach to the toes. Roll back down and stretch your arms back and roll up and reach to the toes. Now if you need to, climb up your legs. That's totally legitimate. And then reach and see if you can roll back down. Maybe you have to climb down. That's okay. And roll back down. If you feel frustrated with the teaser, you're not alone. Up, one of the hardest exercises in Pilates to begin to accomplish. Last one like this and come back down and then bend your knees in and we're gonna set the feet down, right leg out and keep them glued together and try and reach for your toe here. Reach further, further, bending over, further. Now roll down, switch feet and the same on the other side. Glue your knees together, roll up and reach for your toe, further, further, further and roll down just to get the upper abs. Hug your knees in and then quickly turn over and, oh, I lied, don't turn over. Stay where you're, at, where you're at, bring your feet together, sit up, holding on underneath for seal. We're gonna clap, 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 roll back. Clap, 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 roll up. Clap, 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 roll back. Two more. At the end of this next one, I want you to stand up. 
So use your hands if you need and come all the way up to stand. Keep your feet crossed and use that cross to turn around. Zip your legs up. And this is our final exercise. Lift your arms high to the sky, grow taller, and then fold over. Put the heel of your hands right in front of your toes. Bend your knees if you have to. Now from here in four steps, walk out to a plank. One, two, three. Perfect plank. Bend your elbows and do five push-ups. Squeeze your bottom, keep your legs together, make them count, and then fold in half by lifting your stomach and in four steps, be specific, walk back. You should be right at your toes, hold it, head down, squeeze your legs together, and then scoop in your stomach and roll, 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 and head comes up last. Thanks so much for joining me, have a great day.